much like share and subscribe the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games got on the way on Friday with the opening ceremony. Six-time medalist Shellyan Fraser-Price and super heavyweight boxer Ricardo Brown were the flag bearers for Jamaica. Due to a change in procedure at the Games, the International Olympic Committee encouraged one male and one female to represent each nation as a symbol of gender parity. However, as great as that looked, bad news hit the Jamaica camp a day before. Long at a triple jump representative Kerry McLeod tested positive for COVID and is now in isolation, hoping he will get a chance to perform. Artistic gymnast Danisha Francis also had bad news as she announced that she will only be doing the bars due to her knee injury. An MRI was done in the athlete's village which showed that she had torn her ACL. Middle distance runner Aisha Prout Lear will not be 100% in Tokyo as she suffered a freak accident on the weekend in training and will require surgery right after the Olympic Games. And last but certainly not least, it was reported on Thursday, July 22 that the president of the Jamaica Athletic Administrative Association Mr. Garth Gale would not be making the trip to Tokyo as he was not accredited by the Jamaica Olympic Association which sees Christopher Samuda as the head. A press release by the JOA on Thursday night stated that Mr. Gale's name was on the first list presented by the J3As for accreditation. According to the release, after the long list is customary that a shorter one is generated based on the advice given to the JOA by member associations. So when the JOA received the short list from the J3As, Mr. Gale's name was not on the list. And the JOA went on to accredit everyone who was on the document without looking into Mr. Gale's direction. Now the document went on to point out how much money the JOA spent with athletes per diem, alternate athletes assistance and COVID test done at the Olympic Games which for me, except for the alternates, it was the JOA's responsibility to do. Now, the document by the JOA also pointed to the money they spent on the Olympic Destiny Series in conjunction with the J3As, which was over $14 million. For me, that was something both organizations agreed on, which helped the Jamaican competitors as they lacked competition going into a global games due to the pandemic and one of JOA's role is to assist athletes in their preparation for the Olympic Games so that destiny series also comes under their umbrella in JOA so nothing to pat themselves on the back about but I think it's weird though that a president of track and field which holds about 97% of the contingent which traveled to Tokyo was not asked by the JOA how come I did not see your name on the list. The JOA has done some great things in the past, but I'm scratching my head over this new episode. It does not make sense to me. Mr. Gale was a director on the JOA board and a vice president, but demitted office and did not seek re-election without giving a reason at the JOA's recent AGM. It seems like drama unfolding in front of everyone's eyes. Well, one thing I can say though, is that something does not smell good. And I'm not in the kitchen, I am actually in a co-pasture. Watch, like, share, and subscribe.